When Officer Clardy was shot, he was wearing a bulletproof vest. Two other officers were shot and killed in other states this weekend, also wearing protective gear. Our Sydney Stallworth looked into the use of bulletproof vests by officers. Sydney. Mike, I met with the Madison County Sheriff's Department today, and they tell me even with the use of protective gear, officers still put themselves at risk every single day. People think if we're wearing a vest, that it's going to keep us alive. The vest is just a tool. It's true, bullet-resistant vests are important, but don't guarantee any officer safety. Officer Billy Clardy III was shot just outside his bulletproof vest in the heart Friday evening. Brent Patterson from Madison County Sheriff's Office tells us all HPD officers are provided with a protective vest and trained on how to wear them. Well, first, when we get the vest, we want to make sure it fits properly. The right fit helps make sure each officer is covered and protected and can wear the vest during their entire shift. Our main goal is, is, is to make sure that everyone in our department wears a vest. Two other departments also lost officers this weekend. Sergeant Christopher Brewster in Houston Police Department and Officer Stephen Carr of Arkansas's Fayetteville PD. A bulletproof vest is, is, a, is a great tool, you know. It's just that unfortunately sometimes things happen like happened Friday. Brent Patterson says the loss of Officer Clardy is one deeply felt by the department. The man did everything right. He did. He did everything right. He wore his weapons. He wore his vest. He, he did the training he was supposed to do, and it still, he, he, it still didn't work out. So um, things like that happen, and unfortunately nationwide as well. The National Institute of Justice reports that 78% of police departments require their officers to wear bulletproof vests. Putting the Valley first, Sydney Stallworth, WZDX News.